just for guidance, um, I want to give an example of how I feed, you know, like choices and meals that I would do for this particular type of diet. So, you know, we're going to stick with this food pyramid throughout this 30 days. I like this food pyramid because pretty much everything in these three zones are okay. And then these upper two zones are like, come on now, you know, like, please don't go, but you're allowed technically. But, you know, the more you go into this area, the less pounds you're probably going to lose, depending on your activity levels, though. If you're highly, highly, highly active, you can kind of dabble in this. But if you're not, you kind of want to stay away. You want to be super strict because, again, the aim is high amount of weight loss. So you're just covering it again before I show, you know, some of my old clips. You want to stick with the meats. You know, I would say stick with the leaner proteins like the fish, the poultry. OK, eggs are OK. You know, they're OK, but just be careful how you eat eggs because eggs and bacon. I don't think most people overeat them, but sometimes I kind of feel like they're snackish, you know. But if you feel f full from eating that and you know you're not going to overeat something else because you ate that fine. You know, this other, this also covers other meats, you know, leaner cuts of meat. That's what you pretty much want to stick with for 20, 30 pounds of weight loss. You know, all these green foods are great, great. You know, avocado is a little fatty, but it's okay on the keto diet. But again, if you're doing super, super high weight loss, you know, you kind of want to limit your avocado intake. Um, and then, you know, you have the cheeses, the dairy. Of course, you're going to you're going to go to the full fat ones and the ones that don't have sugars, right? No milk, you know. Um, I've always felt like dairy isn't necessary, but hey, if you can handle it, handle it. And then nuts, nature's candy um, and seeds, you know, they're all OK. You just have to be careful not to overeat. If you know you don't overeat this stuff, I ain't knocking it. And then you have your citruses and your berries, you know, citruses are nice to squeeze even over fish or squeezing water and drink. No problems with that. A little bit of carbs, a little bit of calories. But, you know, it's really not it's, it, it's so beneficial that the numbers that you see, if you crunch it, they don't they don't really matter. OK, and berries, I personally go for berries, but I always hear good things about the antioxidants, this, this and that. But being that I don't use it, I can't advocate it. All right. So this is one of my feeds, ground lamb and boiled eggs. Now, this feed is OK if you're doing carnivore for this 30 days. But in but in general, OK, you kind of want to stick with leaner meats, you know, you want to stick with leaner meats. Now, on keto diet, it's okay to eat lamb and stuff like that. Um, But if you want to do high weight loss in 30 days, stick with the leaner meats. You know, I'm not going to talk about the science, the science behind all this sort of stuff. You know, you can read up on it. But leaner meats, you're taking less fat. You reduce your weight more. But if you know you're suffering, you're struggling as far as what energy goes, you can go ahead and add some fat to the leaner meats or take a fattier cut of meat it's okay yeah yeah so let's get into the next one all right here goes number two beef boiled eggs really simple right beef and boiled eggs also it's, it's, this is angus beef so it's even as fat as lamb so you know it's, it's an option but again this is for if you're highly highly active or you're super, super heavy, and you can take in a little bit more fat because you burn more energy. All right. It's crazy because I started making this album like two months ago. Never knew that I would actually need it. But this is food I've been eating since I started weight loss, you know, in 2019. That are ketogenic, you know, raw, unprocessed natural foods, you know. I'm going to go over the foods from what you see here that would be okay for this 30 days, okay? Um, it's definitely going to be things towards my tail end. So, you know, simple bowls, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion is okay. You know, of course they have sugar, but they're very low in sugar, um, very low in carb. As long as you don't eat too much of it. And then you got your beef here, right? Let's see what else we got here. Something similar 
The good thing about this bowl is that's turkey meat, you know, turkey meat, very lean, very healthy, very tasty. Oh, turkey, ground turkey, especially organic ground turkey from mom's grocery store. I don't know. I think it's the brand is Koch's. It is so tasty. I don't know. It's the best turkey meat I've had. Ground turkey meat anyway. It's another picture of that. You know, I eat a lot of turkey, chicken. Forget that rice. Let's skip that picture. No rice. There's no rice. <laughs> Well, you know, turkey is pretty. I pretty much keep it the same. And here I have some leeks. I was just trying that out. But turkey, a little bit of veggies. That's pretty much what you're going to stick with, you know. Don't do any funny stuff. You can try cauliflower rice. It's pretty expensive. You know, it definitely has some carbs. Cauliflower, they say it's okay. It's good. I get full off of cauliflower, but I never necessarily feel um, energized from it. You know, salmon, great choice, very tasty choice. It's just as good as lamb, in my opinion. Much leaner, much cleaner. You know, you don't. You know, they always say stay away from the bigger fish because high mercury levels. Not stay away, but don't eat too much of it. Also, have some spinach here. I recommend spinach for this diet as well. You know, you can boil eggs, you can scramble it, omelet it, do your thing with the eggs. If you do, if you do decide to take in eggs, all right. I'm trying to give, okay, here goes an example. This is what most people should probably shoot for if they know that they like tasty food and they can't go super strict, okay? This is cauliflower rice, boiled eggs, meat, okay? In this meat, I think I had some cilantro in there, okay? This is probably too much onion and pepper for this particular 30 days, but this is okay. If you're highly active, this is actually perfect, you know, because you can't eat rice, but... You do cauliflower rice. Some mushroom is okay here and there. Um, spinach, collard greens, you know, you got the peppers and the onions. I'm just a fan of pepper, onion, garlic, so you'll always see that on my plate. This is a keto taco, okay? This is a keto taco. You got your lettuce, you put the meat and veggies inside, hold it like a taco, eat it like a taco or burrito, it's all good, you know? So you have a few options, but it's pretty much, you know, the same things, the same things, you feel me? Um, so that's just a quick example of a few type of things that you can eat while on this diet. Um, I guess I could cover this one too, steak. You know, you can have steak. I can't knock it. You can have steak. Steak is just expensive right now. That's why I don't eat it no more. It's expensive. And I don't know. That's all I can really say about it. I haven't been eating too much beef lately, you know? You can have sashimi. Can't really have sushi because of the rice, you know. Yeah, but you get the picture. It's your boy, the American African. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. If you partaking on this 30 days, let me know how it's going. Let me know how you feel about it. And, you know, we're going to push through, persevere. 30 days, it'll be done before you know it. Take your pictures. Keep your head up. Always stay smiling. And reach out if you have any questions.